and Jones, just two of the 112 Huskies here at Maricopa County Animal Care and Control. It's part of a growing trend of abandoned Huskies in the valley. Ah. It used to be we would see German Shepherds and German Shepherd mixes always would be number two after pit bulls. And I think it might be at a point where Huskies have surpassed them this year. Um, I think we're at a point where there might be more Huskies in the shelters than Shepherds now. Allison Nicolosi, co-founder of Arizona Husky Rescue, believes the spike in Huskies looking for their forever homes in the east and west Maricopa County shelters may be a result of people returning to the office after the pandemic. So many people adopted dogs during that time. And when you're working at home, it's very easy to have a Husky because they're just going to hang out at home with you. And they, they it's a breed that can get separation anxiety. They don't do well when they're alone for long periods of time. So I think that could be one contributing factor to it. But it definitely seems to be getting worse over time. And for those worried about Huskies in Arizona. For the Huskies in the state right now, um, they're already here. They don't know the difference. They, this is where they were born. This is where they grew up. They're perfectly content. It's, it's the same amount of happiness as any other dog if they have their be basic needs met. So basic needs for a Husky is a family that loves them, access to air conditioning inside because as you know it gets way too hot for pretty much any creature that's not built to live in the desert they are not any less suited to live here than any other dog well, the biggest takeaway we want people to have is that if you're looking for um, a husky or pretty much any specific breed honestly uh, you can find it at the shelter you don't need to go to a breeder or you don't need to spit spend tons of money. Bissell Foundation is actually sponsoring adoptions for animals six months and older right now, so the adoptions are free currently. Colton Krolak, KTAR News.